Researchers around the world are reporting that they're getting closer and closer to a COVID-19 vaccine. A pharmaceutical unit of the American firm Johnson & Johnson says it could have one ready by early next year. That company, which operates all around the world, is called Janssen. Che Wonjong spoke with one of its representatives for the Asian region. Around the world, people are desperate to know when a vaccine for COVID-19 will be available. Dr. Paul Korshow, the vice president of medical affairs for Asia Pacific from pharmaceutical company Janssen, says possible vaccine batches could be ready as early as the first quarter of 2021. We expect, depending on the early results that emerge from those phase three studies, to be able to have vaccine available for use by the public in the beginning of 2021. Johnson & Johnson announced on Thursday that it plans to begin its phase three trial in September with up to 60,000 people. But this particular vaccine development is different from others. It's called ADVAC technology, and this is how it works. Scientists create an inactivated virus that carries what's called a spike protein. This creates a robust immune response that protects against the virus exposure. The reason that the spike uh, protein is so important, and a lot of other companies are, are choosing that same uh, protein, uh, is because um, it, it seems to generate a robust immune response, uh, and it seems to be relatively well conserved. Worldwide distribution can follow once the trials are completed. However, Dr. Kershaw says it's not about which country gets the vaccine first, but who needs the most like healthcare workers and those who live in active COVID-19 hotspots, including South Korea. We are working very diligently with countries all around the world, including the South Korean government. So we're currently having discussions with government officials to talk about how we can quickly make the vaccine available. The company has set a maximum price of 10 U.S. dollars per dose during the emergency pandemic period. Although it will depend on clinical results, Jensen is pursuing single-dose measurement, meaning hopefully one vaccine shot will provide enough immunity for people to last during the pandemic period. He added that this COVID-19 vaccine development is a unique collaboration between companies and government, and unlike anything he has seen before. He's hoping this remains the case even after pandemic ends. Taewon Jung, Arirang News.